I'm always on the internet reading about wine. And I was on our program website and I saw the Road Rangers had a grant out there. And even though I'm an undergraduate, I, um, I really wanted to do something to get more involved and learn more than what, you know, just kind of go the extra mile and learn more about winemaking and sign more science to pure strictly science and do an experiment. So um, I read that they had a grant up there and I contacted the Run Rangers and I um, contacted Jim Harvardson, a research enologist here at WSU Prosser. I contacted him and he really helped me think out the experimental design for um, my project. And so I spent like a week writing just two pages, just going back and forth with Jim, getting all the details hammered out. And then I submitted a proposal to the Run Rangers and you know, there's about a month when I didn't hear and I was just really nervous. And they, they came back and I got it and I was just like, oh my God, I got a grant, you know, and I'm an undergraduate. So the project I'm doing um, is a co-fermentation experiment with the Rhone uh, grapes, the two Syrah and Viognier. And to me, it's very interesting because um, when you add a white wine to a red wine fermentation, it, um, it brings up some very interesting questions as far as wine quality goes. And at the research station here, we get to study that in detail where we do triplicates. Um, so we're just not doing one big fermentation and being kind of guesstimating what percentage of what percentages of Viognier we're putting in the fermentation. So we're going to have everything down really close to exact, and we're going to be able to control a lot of the parameters of what we're doing. And it'll show what the consequences of adding different percentages of Viognier to the Syrah. The science is important because I think a lot of people in the wine industry that aren't trained in the scientific method do things because it's worked for them in the past. We're, you're doing something to a grape when you go through any process. You're changing something if you do this technique or that technique. And you really know that that technique's making a difference. So there's a lot of um, myths in the wine, wine industry, and specifically for winemakers that do things a certain way because that's what was handed down to them and that's what uh, they learned from their mentors. But here at um, WSU, we're really trying to investigate those in much more detail, in much more scientific detail. You, know, you could only make great wine with great grapes, and you got to get great grapes to make great wine. So I think that gives you a really leg up if you understand the whole process and are able to work with your growers and see, you know, see the potential of the vineyard and then translate that into wine. And us winemakers want everything perfect, and you know, to get it perfect, a lot of a lot of work goes in getting the vines that way, so a very sticky, very dirty job, um, and the vineyard side's very dirty too, you go out there and you pick grapes and you get spiders and dust all over you and you come home and your socks are, you know, brown from all the soil, so it's a very dirty job, but I, I love it. So. it. It's worth it when you, you know, you're going in and trying to put your blends together and seeing, you know, going to more of the artistic part of it, so it's just, it's really exciting when you get your wine safe and done and right before bottling and after bottling, tasting the wines, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. So I just really wanted to, you know, go the extra mile and, you know, work with Jim, work with a lot of the people here at WSG Prosser and, you know, just be, try to become a better winemaker and learn how to do science. So.